2011 Ultimate Builder Custom Bike Show in Cleveland, Ohio. We're talking with Huey Schwebs of Cleveland Motorcycle Manufacturing. Huey, take a moment please and give me something about your background. I've been a custom bike builder uh, since I was like 16 years old. I, I owned a company for a long time called Performance Engineering, which I still own, and then uh, we started Cleveland Motorcycle Manufacturing Company back in uh, 1986, revived the old company that went out of business in 1932. You're in the uh, freestyle class on this bike? Yeah, we're in the freestyle class. What were you trying to accomplish with this build? Uh, we were looking for the older uh, board track racer look, you know. Uh, we, everything else is pretty much ground up. The tanks and that, we included the oil tank and that. Uh, along with the gas tank, we used the old 1943 flathead motor to give it more of the older bike look. Uh, pretty much an updated version of an old flathead. What was your vision on this bike? Again, going back to the old uh, antique motorcycle type of deal. Let's talk about the fabrication. Uh, well, everything on the bike has pretty much been handcrafted. All the fenders, the seat mounts, the gas tanks are all been, we made the wood bucks, manufactured the tanks, the bars. Uh, the reverse handlebar grips come off a of 1936 BMW, we redid that. Uh, all the belt drive primaries and uh, everything else has been done, all the fin work and uh, on the top of the tranny lid, it's all been refabricated, the end cover for the transmission. It's all hate one off, hand off stuff. Let's talk about the engine. What have you done on that? Uh, it started out as a 1943 ULH flathead, Harley Davidson motor. Uh, we pumped up the compression, uh, ported the heads, put some mild cams in it. Other than that, it's just a uh, uh, original flathead Harley motor. What about the transmission on that? Transmission is a Harley Davidson five speed transmission we adapted over with electric start to the flathead motor. Uh, is that, uh, what about the exhaust system on that? Exhaust system is another hand handmade item that we made specifically for this bike. Let's talk about the front end. Uh, the front end is uh, done by Redneck Engineering. Um, the only thing modified we did to that basically was uh, hidden some of the mounts and uh, modified the axle stuff. If we move to the back end, what have we got on that? What do we see back there? Uh, you start as a basic rigid frame, uh, been modified somewhat to take in the five speed transmission and the electric start. Uh, the fender again was hand fabricated, um, put the single side drive. Uh, brake and sprocket and caliper on the one side so the wheel shown better. What was your approach on paint? Uh, the paint actually comes to, uh, I always loved the 1957 T-Bird powder blue. So that was my choice of colors. The guys at the shop kind of laughed at me about it, uh, doing a powder blue bike. But uh, after it was done, they were all happy with the way it turned out. Who would you like to thank on this? Actually, the crew at my shop and everybody else that was involved with this, from Jason at the polish, uh, Jason's polishing, um, Jesse Bassett for some of the fabrication work, uh, Jeff for wiring, um, Gary and uh, Kevin, the guys who assisted the shop from doing everything, from chasing down tools, moving stuff around, and helping set up the shows. If somebody'd like to get a hold of you, how would they do that? Uh, it's very simple. Our phone number is 216-961-5151 or they can go to our website, Cleveland, full length, motorcycle full length, manufacturing, mfgco.com, clevelandmotorcyclemanufacturing.com. Huey, thank you very much. Oh, thank you.